Hey guys, I'm gonna start documenting this YouTube journey because I'm completely at the beginning. Even though we've been doing this for a year, I started with James, my fiance, it's taken a pivot. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to treat this like a business, um, create my own brand. And I thought I'd just let you all in because you know what? I think we often see people at the height of their success on YouTube or they got it all figured out, but I want to start at the I want to start at the beginning and and bring you along and let you know that it is not easy and it is scary and I'm just figuring this out too. First, this is my piano setup. So, we've got the mics here. I don't record piano too much, but um I want to do that more. Fortunately, I get a little office studio so i got one soft box i learned how to put it together i had no idea what a soft box was i'm trying to figure out lighting <laughs> and everything and this room has not very much natural light so i've been trying to figure out lighting that's been kind of a pain in the ass over the last couple weeks we've got the beautiful sony a7s3 the rode video mic pro plus so those are a handsome pair. It's very busy inside here right now. And I think in the beginning of any journey where you're not an expert, because I'm not an expert, you're gonna have moments like that. And I think it's just embracing it all, right? And once you just kind of like, just throw things at the wall to see what sticks, I'm kind of doing that right now. So I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. I'm gonna document maybe eight weeks of my YouTube journey, eight to 12 weeks and we'll see where I end up in a few months. I did my makeup earlier, so I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit reverse here. I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna play that now, and I talk about some things as well um, and some lessons I've learned over this last week. Hey. Ugh. It's Saturday. I just did some yoga, and honestly, all I can think about is content, 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 content. Because I just have so many things that I want to put out there, you know? And I like, ah, I'm just thinking, when am I going to put out my piano videos? What self-growth videos am I going to want to do this week? What topics do I want to cover? I want to talk about so much. And yeah, it can feel a little overwhelming. Because I think we just all want things, because you just want things to happen so fast, right? You just want things to happen immediately, and you want to create the magic like that. But it takes a minute sometimes to create the magic. <clears throat> oh no. I have powder, foundation, and it was upside down. Anyways, yeah, so I'm really serious about this thing. I really want something to come from this because I feel like I could be helping that girl who maybe grew up like me or has had some of the same traumas as me and is feeling really alone out there, like really alone. And I just want to be kind of be someone's big sister, like someone's friend, you know? Mm. And even looking, okay, so I'm using, I'm using a different camera to film this vlog than I did um, for my I used to think my life was perfect video and I'm so much tanner in the other one. It's just a different camera. Like this is this is my Sony camera. This is the camera that I use for uh, those videos or that I plan to. I've only uploaded one as part of that series, but um, so in, I wanna say April, April of last year, so April 2023, James and I started the, doing videos on YouTube. 
and it was totally for fun. I was thinking, hey, you know what would be awesome? You're white, you're English, you have a cute accent, I'm Vietnamese. What if I just introduce you to all the different Vietnamese dishes? And we just sit down and I, and I teach you some Vietnamese, even though I'm not fluent. And then um, we did that and it was totally just for fun. Started getting followers to our surprise and shock. And then we traveled to Vietnam with my family months later. And that was when we started getting more and more subscribers. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have a few hundred, crazy. And then as we kept filming, I realized that, well, we're gonna run out of dishes. And I was like, what are we gonna film now? And then, life took a left turn. I had to learn a lot of tough lessons very fast. And I'm gonna save these stories for another day, but that was the, that was at the point that I said, maybe I can do more with this channel. And then James got really, really busy with Iron Man and he got really busy with training and I was like, you know what? I'm super into this stuff. I want to learn to video edit. I want to get better at it. I want to dive fully into it. And so only in the last month, so it is July 2024 now, only within the last month have I decided I really want to go full in to my own brand my own content and putting out some self-growth videos. So that's what I'm doing. I think a lot of really successful YouTubers out there that I could only aspire to be, I think you see how awesome they are and how far along they are and you see them at the height of their success. You see all the amazing videos, the good videos that they have out there, but I'm not sure how many of them filmed the very beginning stages of the journey, right? And I guess I just wanted to film that and have people come along with me to see if I can monetize myself, if I can make something of this because it is something that I'm passionate about and I'm a girl who is now trying to go after my dreams and you know, I just thought it'd be interesting to see someone trying to pursue their dreams with not that many subscribers right now. I'm trying to hit a thousand and that's just the truth. So for all of you who are experts or who have been on the platform for a while or if you are a creator would love 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 some advice i've i've been watching endless hours of think media um yeah think media mostly yeah anyway so <laughs> i'm just doing my makeup guys i don't even know if this is the right angle i don't know if it looks right whatever whatever right i see people doing this on camera all the time and i'm like that's cool makes me feel like they're my friend so i'm trying to do that I'm trying to do that right now you know we'll see anywho over the last couple weeks i've really just been trying to get my studio set up i'll show you oh i'll show you what it looks like and i have tried maybe four different cameras and I landed on the Sony A7S 3 which I know is a little bit of a splurge I know that it is one of the fancy fancy ones and every youtuber out there will say you do not have to start with fancy gear and I agree I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a youtuber but when I listen to the really successful ones, they all say, I just started with my iPhone. You can absolutely do that. But I kind of like to go big or go home. Um, 
and I had credit. I had store credit, actually. So I decided to splurge on the camera. So I think this one is working out pretty well. I've, I've tried, like, like I said, four. So I tried the Sony ZV-1, the Sony ZV-10, the Nikon, I forget. I'm gonna put it right here. The Nikon something. So yeah, I tried a few. And then the Sony A7S III now, and um, I gotta say the Sony A7S is just, there's something different about it. It's a special one, but you also have to get a really good lens. So I can put my lens in the description for you too. Now this is not what I'm filming with. Right now I'm filming with the Canon G7X Mark II, old school, OG. Um, yeah, the Sony A7S III is one that I'm gonna be filming my starting over series with. So where I talk about topics, I talk about my experiences, and it's just kind of like get to know me videos and trying to empower people. So yeah. But you know, this doesn't look so bad. Now that I, now that I see this, I'm like, why did I spend, why did I, why did I get the Sony? Did I need to? I might be having buyer's remorse. But you know what's great about the Sony is that it's got the slot, it's got a, um, it's got an input. <laughs> I'm still learning all the words. It's got an input for, for a mic. So I have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on that one, whereas the Canon G7X, there is no microphone input, unfortunately. So I've got to go with the sound on the Canon. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the upgrade that I wanted, you know. I also feel like a lot of people around me don't feel like YouTube is practical. And it's not. I get it. They're probably looking at this new journey of mine and they're like, who does, who does she think she is? Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're like, oh, she's super brave. I wish I could do that. No, but, um, you know, and the thing is that I've realized that it's not your job to make people understand your choices. Sometimes when you think or when you act outside the box, there's going to be opinions, there's going to be questions, right? It's just natural, it's human nature. You're like, oh, you know, Becky was working a finance job last week. Oh my God, she's on YouTube talking about self-growth all of a sudden, what is going on? And you know, it's just kind of like, life is long, people. And sometimes it takes a minute to decide, or not even decide, it takes a minute to discover what your purpose is, what, what lights you up, what your life's intention and purpose is, right? Sometimes you don't know until some real shit happens, like real shit, and some shit happened this year for me. And that's when I was like, how can I be of service a little bit? How can I inspire people to start over? How can I let them know that they are not their mistakes, that as long as you learn from them, that you, be, you can become a better person. And, and so this YouTube journey is a part of that. And I think that when people just kind of see that extreme pivot, it's, it can be confusing. And the thing is, we can't let ourselves get bogged down by what other people think because it's not their journey and they don't have a say. They don't. I have no idea how this looks. I don't I don't know. For all I know, I look orange or I never done my makeup on camera before. So anyways, so I think with YouTube maybe me me 5 years ago absolutely would have been lost, would have not 
would have probably been in it for the wrong reasons. And this is my drugstore mascara. Yeah, but I I think there is no there is no better time than now for me. Five years ago, I would have been completely lost in the why am I really doing this? Why do I even want a YouTube? But now, yes, even though I want visibility, I want exposure, but only so that I can help more people. I know my why. My why is so much more clear, right? If I was just in it for money or fame or likes or whatever, that is not sustainable. That is so toxic and unhealthy. But now I feel like it's because I've been through some shit and I learned some shit. I have been forced to learn some really big lessons. It's like it's bursting out of me. I want to teach those lessons. I want others to feel less alone. And I think it, me being solid in that why is the reason that when I get discouraged or video editing goes all wrong or I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm, I'm, I'm in this very uncomfortable learning mode right now. And someday I hope to be really seasoned and someday I hope to have more of a following. But right now, it's it's baby, baby, early days, right? And so I'm constantly uncomfortable. I'm like, what lighting do I get? What camera? What what like what do I do? How do and you know, and it's that perfectionist in me still. I know I talked in my last video about I used to pretend my life was perfect. Well, you know what? I'm still a little bit of a, of a perfectionist, but I can admit now <laughs> that I am. And um, and so I, I just want things to be so right before I launch or, I, or um, before I say they're done. And that can get in the way, right? And so I had to learn how to let go of that perfectionism and just let it go. And, and let the thing fly and see where it lands. So I am learning constantly. And those videos that I was doing with James, you know, those were way more casual. Like it was just eating and talking. And now I feel like this is a business. Like I'm trying to treat it like my business, you know? And it is my business. I think sometimes you put more pressure on yourself when things become more of a business. And I don't want to lose sight in why I'm doing this. You know, because there's just so much that I want to share and I want to share it all at once. And I want probably five years of impact to happen in five days. And that's just not going to happen. Right. And so it's really enjoying the journey. That's what it is. I bet I'm going to get some, some uh, constructive criticism on my makeup routine, aren't I? So starting a new thing is scary, guys. It's just, it is, it's just scary. There's... And, but the thing is, it's so normal, so normal to, to feel that way, right? Is this better? <laughs> Listen, I'm not on here to be a how-to makeup guru or anything. I just thought I'd do my makeup and catch up with y'all. I'm going to try this out. Um, I'm going to vlog. I'm going to do a weekly vlog of my YouTube journey. I'm going to do a starting over series talking about real deep topics, getting vulnerable. I'm going to do some piano. James will make some appearances. You know, this is going to be kind of a whole wonderful, beautiful hot mess because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. But all I know is that so far, um, been figuring out lighting, camera, action. No, been and you know figuring out a schedule of okay, when can I film? When do I edit? When do I publish? When do I and like how often do I want to publish? It's just it's been a lot of that thinking. What do I want to be short form? What long form do I want? It's just an endless amount of content that I want to be creating, and I think I'm getting. I, I felt a little bit overwhelmed trying to come up with room to launch it all. I think, yeah, what are your dreams? Go after them, man, you know? I, it, took, it took some shit to happen. Um, and I will say, for me to make some really big mistakes, um, 
to realize how short, how precious life is and how we're only here for a short time. So might as well, you might as well pursue what really lights you up, what really fills you up. And I chose to take a bad situation and turn it into that. Not everybody does, so I am proud of myself for doing that. I am. Um, but there's been a big pivot within the last month in terms of me taking this thing on full time and trying to make it a business. Researching, learning, just growing pains, you know, just dealing with the growing pains of it and trying to learn all the ins and outs of this world. And, um, you know, that's my business. I'm gonna go get coffee with my mom. She's in town. And I'll see you next week. Love you guys.